This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here with the freak Tony Fricklin at the documentary for Catching Lightning. I mean, Tony, I mean, I, I'm gonna just say this very bluntly. You get a call, he robbed a warehouse for the money. How does one even put into words, like just hearing that that happened for it with someone you knew? Uh, yeah, it was kind of surreal. I mean, obviously. Uh, is, is a friend of mine. We, we, we trained a lot together. We bled together uh, in the training room, and was one of the guys that we kind of had a we had a, a great connection with. And to hear that was like, you know, obviously, I first didn't believe it, and then second was like, okay, well, I I I knew that that could happen because I knew what he was into before. You know what I mean? So I, I just I just didn't know it was going to get to that extent. You know, I thought I thought that's when I first met him. There were certain levels of what they were, what he was doing, and 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 that I just didn't I didn't. I was like, holy shit, it went to that level. Okay, okay, right on. Oh right, wow, I didn't know that. Now, UFC veteran yourself, when I watch the documentary, um, one of the things I draw from is like, okay, wasn't all on him. Obviously, he had the incident that affected his visa, his ability to travel and fight for the UFC. Obviously, he's also the one part of the crime. When you think about this story, is it, is it a true crime story? Is it a tragedy? What, you know, for beyond the victims involved that he obviously affected when he did what he did? What is this story when you think about it? Honestly, I haven't given, like, honestly, and I don't know if I feel bad or indifferent or whatever, I just haven't thought that much on that on that part of the subject. Um, I really only just focus mostly on on where Lee's at and, and, and the rest of the story. I mean, I know there's people involved, there's people that suffer because of it, and I, I, I know right now it's just because the rest of our lives are doing different things right now. So, I haven't really thought about that. After tonight, if you ask me the same question, I will tell you exactly how I feel about, well, I mean, about the people that were kidnapped and held hostage, all the different things during the heist, apparently, right? I, I, haven't, I, haven't, seen, I haven't seen it, you know? So, uh, and I just know the vague, the vague details through the trailers and stuff like that. And, and uh, and just what Lee told me a couple of quick times over the phone when he was still when he was still uh, not 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 caught I guess um, so but yeah no I I, I know I, I'm I, again I ever see people that were in, uh, trying to migrate you know from Cuba and Haiti, from Haiti you know in the Coast Guard back in the 90s and I've dealt with some stuff as a wildland firefighter dealing with the 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 Napa fires in California, all of a sudden people lost everything and I, I understand stuff so I also understand when when people have a uh, you know trauma from from all those things also getting freaking kidna kidnapped and stuff like that leaves my boy but like there's also a handful of people that are you know gonna be traumatized from that experience and, and, and I get I get that and I'm not defending him, I'm just saying like, like, you know, got to do what you got to do sometimes and we'll figure it out. I'll see it and, uh, and I'm always going to be Lee's guy. But uh, yeah, it'll just be interesting to see uh, how I feel after seeing really what happened with the security. Oh, you know what happened to the security guards, they got taken and yada, yada, yada. And I wouldn't be like I, I mean, I've seen people go through some stuff and it, and it sucks to see them after they've gone through it so you know hopefully they're oh, at least hopefully they're not, at least they're grown men that's all i can say and they weren't kids that's all i can say you know as far as that you know what i mean but aside from that we'll see how the film goes i'm sure it's gonna be amazing pat does great work and uh you know these always gonna be my guy so tony i appreciate your candor and your honesty in this thank you and i hope you enjoy the show